Hey everybody, I'm Ty Slim and welcome to Ty Slim Vlogs. Today, I'm going to show you how I detail wax and buff my 1981 Suzuki Carry. Uh, it's a little Japanese mini truck and I usually detail it once a year. Um, it really sits for about 11 months of the year. Um, it's really just used as like a golf cart um, for bringing stuff to and fro the house. Um, I ride it on the road, daily drive it a little bit sometimes. Um, I might do the occasional mudding trick trip, but really it just, it kind of just sits under uh, big maple trees and trees and collects tree scum and everything like that. So there's a lot of buildup on here. And also these seals deteriorate over the years, whatever they used in Japan. It's very high quality stuff, but it kind of leaves a, a streakiness down here. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to spray the whole vehicle down with a cleaner um, and just kind of let it soak. And then I'm going to come back and just scrub it with a scrub brush, um, kind of in all the cracks real easy, nothing crazy. And uh, then I'm going to hit it with the power washer and just get this thing all nice and clean. Then after that, I'm going to break out the buffer, throw some compound on it, get everything looking shiny, shiny as, enough, shiny as much as we can. This is like a single stage paint from the factory. Um, they didn't use like a traditional base clear, so it shines up, but then it kind of dulls up. So you just kind of got to keep on it if you want to keep it looking pristine condition. So we'll get on it here. I'm going to finish off with the interior then as well and uh, just spruce it up, vac it out spray it down get it looking good let's start out with a little product breakdown um, so to spray the vehicle down to get and remove all that scum and contaminants i'm going to use la's totally awesome um, this stuff is awesome i get it at the dollar store and i actually mix it 50 50 with water because it's just too strong this stuff's too good i mean if you're going to like do a big heavy engine degreaser use it um 100 but 50 percent works so good for me and it goes twice as long uh then next when we just kind of wash the vehicle off we're going to use some mcguire's whatever your flavor um soap for the cars then after we get that all dried off we are gonna break out the old buffer with the wool pad this is like an og harbor freight when their tools were yellow probably well maybe 20 20 years old now never let me down um and the wool pad is good on whites and especially that single stage paint because you're not really going to burn through. It's going to be like the easiest color to buff. So I'm really not worried about using an aggressive wool pad. And the topper on that is we're going to use 3M uh, machine polish. This is number two. Uh, number one is actually the most aggressive, but I don't need number one on this and I have more number two. So I'm going to use up my stash of number two. And then if everything goes well, we're going to finish off with some chemical guys, tire shine. Um, I like to throw this on the tires. I like to throw this on the vinyl. It kind of brings it back, restores it up for a little bit. Eventually it fades out again, but it's a good quick fix. So let's get to washing. going to fire it up and uh, I'll show you how I do it. kind of see there just the scum and everything just kind of running down those are streaks that are on there so that's a streak that kind of builds up from all these seals just running down so we'll scrub those off and then buff them out
can you see on camera here all this nasty uh like gasket stain that's running down here so that's what kind of stains that paint so you got to keep on up on it every year that's all You don't have to worry about doing the best job with the wash because you're going to get the pressure washer out after this and then that wool buffing pad's going to it's going to knock a lot of this stuff right off so don't go crazy just be good but thorough Well, I don't know what it is about pressure washing, but it's just so satisfying. Uh, if you ever spend any time behind the trigger of a pressure washer, you know what I mean. Or even watch those videos on uh, online. It's just fun to watch. Feels good. Okay, we're going to blow this thing off uh, with some air. And then we're going get to get to buffing, get it shined up. So all these stains and stuff will come out. Bonus clip. We're actually going to take the engine cover off. And we're going to spray down the engine, the transmission back here, and then we'll spray down the engine in the cab. And we'll detail that a little bit. It might be a little muddy. There's the transfer case transmission distributor looks pretty good in there actually so not too much cleaning we'll put some la's totally awesome on it and then give it a light dusting now i'm going to use my electric pressure washer here with a little short nozzle for a little bit more of a controlled blast i don't want all that power and i just like using my electric dealy for uh stuff like this where you're trying to be a little more precise now to get to the engine you gotta remove the seats here they just come out like that swing around to the other side pop the clasps move the driver's seat it's a little dusty and grimy in here i think the last time i did it was six or seven years ago when I got this got this truck so we'll spray it down now you just want to be careful when you when you actually do uh, 
go to pressure wash it. Um, just kind of keep away from electrical connectors. You know, don't spray the alternator head on. I mean, I've done this many times with vehicles. Um, I've never really had a problem. Don't spray directly in the air box, but. Now, some people might think doing a little pressure and washing like that in your engine bay is a really bad idea. Um, I don't mind it. I mean, if you work on your own vehicles, it makes it really nice and it's really clean when they break. Of course, it's a Japanese mini truck, so they never break. They run on, they run on good times. So, um, I was careful. I mean, I'll take the air cleaner out and stuff. And sometimes they take a little longer to start. They crank a little longer, but it'll be fine. But let me know if you don't think it's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. I'd love to hear. Okay, we're going to start the buffing process now. Um, you got your wool pad. We got this. And we got a 3M number two. Give it a little shake. And then we're just going to kind of put some on there. It's okay if we go a little bit heavy at first. We need to get our buffing pad saturated. So, but nothing crazy. Just kind of, yep. You can even do that. You don't got to be super, super careful. So just get it revved up here. Try that. Just like that, you can see that, that brighten that panel up if you can see it. Um, just kind of want to work your work your compound out, and right, nice where it's nice and flat. You actually want to get that that pad flat. You don't want to be digging like that on an angle. You know, you can kind of work a little bit up to the contours of the body, but you want to use the full surface of that pad when you can. So I'm just going to keep going, and it's not going to take me very long because this. It's structurally small, so that's what I like about it. You saw, probably saw me do the glass here, and guess what? It worked. So it took all the film off and leaves it nice. So I've tried it, I've done it. It's not very complicated, it all works. Don't be afraid. That pretty much does it for this side. Uh, I'm not gonna get too crazy. I am gonna come back with a, a coat of wax and if I have any any buff marks, like uh, kind of burned in compounds, I'll take that out with the, with the wax pad. Now you want to be careful around your emblems because I think it's probably pretty hard to get those anymore. So these little golden fellas, they can take some, but don't sit there and really reef on them with that thing. Um, all this will come off. We'll just get it off. So don't worry about that. Now 
now that we're done with the old buffer 9000, we're going to move on to finishing waxing this thing. Um, this is a Meguiar's Random Morbidal, um, and this is just a very fine foam pad. It's like a polishing pad. So I just use it to apply my wax, so I don't have to apply it by hand. So this should be real quick. And this is what I'm using. I'm using California Custom Emron Glass. Um, it's a clear coat cleaner wax, so it'll still eat up a lot of those stains. Um, no silicone, but I think I'd probably want some silicone in, but it's pretty much safe for anything. Base coat, clear coat, fiberglass, imported finishes. I suppose that's an imported finish, so it'll work. It'll be fine. that thing haze up kind of just like any other wax and then use your microfiber wax on wax off I don't know if you guys are seeing this but you got to engage this power stance that's the only way to buff and polish like that you got a buff and wax truck I'm gonna clean up the interior a little bit shoot some dressing on the tires then we're getting there so we're not done yet um, we still gotta put dressing on the bumpers and the vinyl dress the tires but first we're gonna mix up a little paint and we're gonna paint the frame a little bit we're probably gonna repaint the bed just any spot that needs it so let's get to the paint booth oh bonus check out this Found these when I was cleaning out the interior. Chopsticks from Japan. Pretty cool. If you leave a comment, maybe I'll send it to one of you guys. Okay, we're at the mixing booth here. Um, we're just going to paint the frame a little bit. Probably repaint the bed. Paint some tie-downs and stuff that I have. Just kind of refresh a little bit. It'll last a couple years. So we're just going to use some white tractor paint, basically. Mixing jar. And we're going to thin it out with a little paint. And we're going to roll it on. They actually make this tool instead of using a screwdriver. It's kind of weird, I know. I like to punch a few drain holes in the top for a fresh can. Get your homemade twirler stick out of tie wire. Oh boy. Hope this little funnel trick works. We'll see. Kind of. Didn't spill it all over the jar like normal. That ain't too bad. Plenty. Here's what I'm talking about here. We'll repaint that bumper and then we'll just throw a little coat on that surface rust on the frame and then we'll work on the bed a little bit. Even hit that toolbox. I know it's not prep perfect but that's all we're doing. Now I'm just throwing some paint on the frame and the rust spots and stuff just to make it look a little better. I know it's not going to hold too good. It, I mean it'll help a little bit. Anything helps. You know putting a little lipstick on a pig or maybe a little Rouge. <laughs>
this is a J hook actually from an old Chevy Blazer I had. RIP that car. It got hit on the street at night about, I don't know, three in the morning. So, needless to say, it was a drunk driver or something. I never got anything out of that. Just uh, my winter beater taken from me. Stolen. Old blazer. Good times in that ride. I'm just painting stuff. Nobody will ever know. Okay, that paint job is far from good, but looks good from far. Um, it's always fun doing a little painting, so I brightened it up a little bit. No big deal. So let's get to the final piece of the puzzle. Let's get these tires dressed and get this vinyl dressed. Hit it with a little bit of chemical guys. Tire dressing here. Around. That's your sponge. Now for this right here, you're gonna want to take your chemical guys tire kicker tire shine, spray a little on a sponge there. Wipe her down. Get this baby back to black. Well, that was my little step-by-step -step process of uh, how I scrub my mini truck up like once a year. A little wax, a little buff. Uh, maybe it'll help you on your little K truck or go scrub up something, wax and buff it. But either way, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm Ty Slim. This is Ty Slim Vlogs. Stay positive.